Well, why don't you put that on last? Kate Golick has struggled to find balance, both for herself as an associate clinical professor at the Ohio State University College of Nursing and for her kids. If parents are setting their goals for themselves or their children too high, what that does is causes frustration and then it can cause things like low self-esteem because these goals are unattainable. The pressures from that culture of achievement can lead to parental burnout. One, two, three, four, five. A situation easily made worse by feelings of being a bad parent, even if you're not. You can look at people on Instagram, you can, you know, even just see people walking around and I always am like, how do they do that? How do they, you know, seem to always have it all together? when I don't. Knowing there must be others feeling this pressure, Golick partnered with Ohio State's Chief Wellness Officer Bernadette Melnick to explore the scope of the problem. They found that parents who feel pressure to be perfect had higher levels of stress, burnout, depression, and anxiety. And those struggles for parents were strongly correlated with mental health challenges for their children. Nobody can be a perfect parent. What I advise parents is that we want to engage in positive parenting. That means catching those negative thoughts that creep in before they become destructive. What we tell ourselves is super important because it affects how we feel and how we behave, how we parent. Golick now leads a support group to help parents tackle the challenges of parenthood together. The beauty of having a group like that is there's multiple people that have had similar situations that can offer various solutions to the problem or just even commiserate with you. At the Ohio State College of Nursing, I'm Barb Consiglio.